Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of it's not upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it's not upon as any form of advice at all, it's just general in nature only. We're hearing a lot about antitrust over in the US, and now there's even a suggestion that we could have some form of similar laws brought here to Australia off the back of what's going on at the moment around the supermarket wars and the Green Senate that's been led by it. So the question is, what would happen if a Woolies and Coles were under the same sort of legislation requirements or the possibility that the legislation could ask them to divest their current scenario? The one to look at straight away is probably Woolworths. Woolies have divested their parts of their business that hadn't actually necessarily been the most driving force. They've also clearly divested to get towards the ESG, so the environmental, social and government space. And now they're in a scenario where they've got very slimline and do what they do quite well. The question that obviously the board is looking at with regards to how the Senate inquiry sits is whether or not you also now have the issue around anti-competitiveness and therefore food and possibly also fresh areas could be stripped off further. It's not going to happen and that needs to be put out there very clearly. But it is an interesting scenario that if there was legislation put against the staples that are basically just there as a provider of food logistics mover, what would happen and how it would look like? I mean, Woolies could possibly divest Big W, but at the same time, it's not really part of what this inquiry is looking at. So that's why the question needs to be asked and why I know you guys have been asking this question more and more is what would happen if legislation was brought in like that? What would happen to Woolworths and Coles if they were forced by the federal government to divest certain parts of their business? It'd be very hard to happen because the other thing to remember here is that it's also about you and me. It's about how we do and use and acquire our overall staples and they are without doubt the most convenient stripping out certain parts of their overall spaces to allow smaller providers and more competition to increase is all well and good in theory, but where do you put them? How do you get them into market? How do you get them in there at a cost efficient rate? And that's why this debate, although it's noisy and although it has had some effect on share prices, the longer term view is that it will not have a material impact in terms of what Coles and Woolworths are because the demand from the customer says very clearly that they will survive well into the future.